shall receive power. After. Aya. Aya. A kabo, kabo, kabo. Aya. Uh, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you and shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of it. What the scripture is saying that you don't know is the fact that the journey of power, I mean power, is most potent in the darkest region. Light is brightest in darkness. When you put on your flashlight in the presence of this, it's like a tiny figment that is that is not to be looked upon. When God was going to send these guys, he sent them to the darkest place. It was Apostle Ahmed that said, if he were God, or if he were Jesus, he would have said, I shall receive power. And you shall be witness to be first in Judea, not in Jerusalem. So because Jerusalem then was a, a gathering, a cocoon of religious men. These men can by no means believe you. One of the reasons why when God sends you, he sends you to the hardest of places. It is because he expects you not to go without power. It's for you that his power you need. When you sign like John, John 5, that he said for John, was he born in and he shining light. You go back to here with John 5, 35. For Victor, was he born in and he shining light. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He sent them to where? Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? Jerusalem was the other some places. When you actually contact power, that kind of places will become easy for you. Have a belief. Don't let me pray. Uh -uh. Don't let me pray. If I can pray for long, I will crack the atmosphere. That's my belief. If I can pray long enough, I give me seven days. In me, when I come, I will crack it. I, I'm, I'm not too ambitious. I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't sell myself too much. I won't tell you, give me three hours. No, seven days. I'm certain if I can wake up from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Mm. 9 p.m. to 3, 6 hours. Do from night to midnight. When he sent them, he sent them to where? He sent them to, the, to Jerusalem, the darkest. Before he now advised them to go to Judea next. If it was you, because if I thought you would start, if I thought you have headquarter before branch, you have to start in Judea, not Jerusalem. Jerusalem was the darkest, hardest, strongest to crack. I see men want to run ministry and they want to go to the easiest of place. There are men that want to run ministry without power. I view to see how weak we are in the body of Christ. How important you have become. Many men just want to carry titles. You say they are apostles. Walk around with titles, with portfolios, mental, in, in, important portfolios. I've seen the body. We are powerless. Have you not seen the God of the Bible? Have you not read the act of apostles? There were certain men in the book of Acts. They were dicky. They were dicky. Give to say in Acts chapter 6 that he said, Choose ye amongst you seven men faithful that will become what deacons. Act after it suddenly, Bible said, Stephen rose full of the Holy Ghost. He narrated this entire story of Israel without reading the Torah. He spoke, I've been sitting from heaven, and after his Bible said, His face, so light protruded from his face. We are powerless. I have read the book of Acts and I'm challenged. Scripture said a man stumbled upon the belt of another man. He stumbled. He fell on it. And he began to put, he said, the owner of this belt. He didn't know it was Paul's belt, but he began to speak about Paul. Ha! You want to see the person face? Say, kilo rupe. A few kilo rupe, kilo bagasi. He did not say he prayed. He said he stumbled on Paul's belt. And then he began to, he said, the owner of this belt. When he gets to Jerusalem, he will be arrested. We, we are powerless. Important as a generation. Fake men are the strongest in our day. Meanwhile, God, according to the scripture, according to my Bible, has been narrated to me as the strongest being, sovereign being that ever existed. Why does it look like men and beings that he created are stronger than him? The church is even afraid of darkness. Certain men are afraid of darkness. I have read my Bible over and over again, generation after generation. The owner of the scripture told me that God is the most powerful being that ever existed. 
for in my day. The church is losing. They said the gate of vain. I don't know in my day. It looks as if the gate of vain is concrete. I don't know. As if Jesus was a moral talker, we arrange church, arrange God in waste people's time. Talk, 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 talk. Nothing, nothing, nothing. A man comes to your church after six months, like he said. They say, What do you benefit from this church? Ah, it was this church. Is this church I learned how to bake? Skill, fiscal skill is what you learn from the church. The first place, a place was called the house of God, was in the book of Genesis. Another name for the house of God, according to Jacob, was the gate of heaven. We said, This. Is the house of God, the gate of heaven. I call it the ten. The first place he called the house of God was a place where he encountered angels and he saw Jesus at the top of the ladder. We can't tell, we waste the time of men. They don't touch God. Nothing supernatural happens to them. Their lives are not altered. They remain men of earth still. The first man that entered the place and he called the place house of God is a place that he had the encounter. How far have we gone? How deteriorated have we, have we gone? Even the one that seems to be strongest among us, they are afraid to go to the darkest of territory. Meanwhile, power is a reason to step into Jerusalem. Power is a reason to fight all lots of darkness. Have you to wonder there's a reason why God called that blessing from Benin? Have you to wonder Benin then was the orb of witches? There's a reason why God is trying to start on Nigeria out of Africa. We are the most corrupt. We are the darkest. We are the one that the world has seen to be failure. But the same principle in Acts 1 to repeat itself from Jerusalem. The most religious but darkest sect. I will raise men unto myself. Tired of your powerless Christians. The solution to the chaos of this age is one thing. Power. Don't let any man tell you different. The solution to the chaos of this age is what? Power. Peace. Say power. Say power. That's the solution. And now we will not appear before my generation without power. I will not appear without power. Go for it. Go for it. A man has been in misty for more than 20 years and he said he has not publicly prayed for the sick. He has not said be healed before. Ah! We all celebrate him. I celebrate him too. He's a teacher. We talk as if the teaching office is a reason to be powerless. Have you not heard that scripture said no man doeth this thing? When they met him, they said, Thou art a teacher come from God. What's the reason? They said, No man do. Not no man teach. No man do it this thing except I will do. I will do. I will labor. I will labor. Until the great one begins to cast himself upon me like a shadow. When I step out, when men look upon me, it will be clear that I have seen a spirit. I will be like an immortal being. An immortal entity. Every time I see Benny, I think I, I ask myself, is this a man or an angel? He's so glorious, so potent in the glory. I watch him and I wept when I watch him. Is this a man? I want to be powerful with God. And he shall hey. This weekend you will pray. And the prayers want to give me power. We have walked this earth too long without power. We have been known as men, men for too long. Give me power. Anoint my head with oil. Can we be on our feet as we pray? Give me power. Lord, me with comment. 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 Comment of power. And you did. And you did. And you me. And you mean we are powerless as a people, weak men, weak men, weak men, Satai of a Pelatia, Opera, Papa, Satai, Atai, Lata, Papa, 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 Papa,